I'm Caprice Greenberg. I am the uh, Mortgage Distinguished Chair in Health Services Research and the Vice Chair of Research at the University of Wisconsin. But I'm very interested in improving the quality and safety of surgical care. Um, some of my research focuses specifically on cancer and specifically on breast cancer. And then the other half of it focuses much more broadly on surgery and how we perform in the OR. So related to the cancer side, I do much more traditional um, health services research so looking at variations in care, variations in utilization. The other side of my work looks at performance in the operating room. I actually have a joint appointment in systems and industrial engineering. And so I started that body of work really focusing primarily on system performance and team performance and how people work together. Um, much more recently, we've moved into how do we improve individual surgeon performance. And so a lot of my work now is focused on developing the concept of surgical coaching and figuring out from a very sort of scientific approach, how do we design programs that can impact the way that we take care of patients and provide the tools and the support that surgeons need to continue to improve their performance throughout their career. I've often joked with people who spent time at the University of Chicago that when you come out of the University of Chicago, research just becomes a part of your DNA. And so I was there for both undergrad and med school. And so I started doing basic science research at that point in my life. And I really liked the scientific process, but I didn't necessarily like being in the lab. And especially as I moved through medical school, I saw that there was really a disconnect between what we were doing with patients and what I felt I was doing in the lab. And so when I was a resident, I realized that many of the medical residents were spending time at the School of Public Health and so I decided to get a Master's of Public Health and start doing research related to improving the quality and safety of care that we deliver to patients. I really think that the field observation work that we've done in the operating room has been incredibly rewarding for me. I started doing that work as a resident when really very few people were going into the operating room to see what's happening. And it's become um, really a field within surgical research now. And so it's been really rewarding for me over the last 15 years to see that field evolve and to see the important contributions that we've made to our understanding about how we provide surgical care. The one other really rewarding part of doing research is the ability to train other people and to mentor other people. And I think that when you're training and mentoring somebody as a researcher, it's in some ways a different relationship than it is when you're training people clinically and that's because people come and work with you for several years and you get these one-on-one -on -one very strong relationships where you really can support a young person in striving to really fulfill their passion to contribute to the scientific knowledge and so that to me is one of the most rewarding things that I do as part of my career. I think one of the great things about integrating research into your clinical practice is that you have a fair amount of flexibility about when you do that work, right? So you can't really do your clinic or your OR outside of normal working hours, but when you're doing research, you really have flexibility if something comes up during the day. Um, I think it really facilitates better work-life integration when you're doing research because, again, you can sort of move things around to facilitate what you need in your own personal life as well as in your academic life. I think that when you're training, it's really hard to imagine that surgery will become something that you're really comfortable doing. And I think that the way that we continue to challenge ourselves and to challenge our discipline is through research. So I think that it provides satisfaction throughout your career in a way that sometimes clinical practice can get um, a little bit routine for people. The other thing that I think that's fabulous about um, research is that it really develops the skill set that you need for surgical leadership. So I think the ability to develop a vision, to have people buy into your vision, and to have the opportunity to sort of lead and manage people while they carry out your vision is really what it's about to lead a research program. And that's exactly what you need to run a division, to run a department, to run a medical school. So I think it's a great path for people that are interested in surgical leadership. I think that the earlier you figure out what you want to do, the better, just like anything else in life. But most importantly, I think, is for um, medical students and residents to get the appropriate training before you become a faculty member. I think it's very hard if you need to take some classes or if you want to take time off to do dedicated 
for example, a dedicated postdoc fellowship, that's much more challenging to do once you're an attending surgeon where your time is incredibly valuable to your institution in terms of being in the OR. Um, but when you're a medical student or a resident, that's really the ideal time to set yourself up and get the skills that you need to um, position yourself to really have a strong research component to your job.